In VirtualBox 7, you have the option to record your sessions. So if I go to settings with my virtual machine turned off, I go to display, I can go to where it says recording. So I'll choose enable recording. Now I can choose the mode as video only, audio, or both. So I'll choose video and audio. And it's important to mark down this file path because you may decide you want to change it to another path or when this is done, you'll want to go see those files that are being recorded. And you can also choose the size that you'd like to. Now it's going to choose the best default size for you, but you may want to change that. Now a frame rate, a good one to have is 25 frames per second. You can go as high as 30 frames per second, which does offer a smoother type of viewing, but it's going to definitely take up a lot more resources. So that's totally up to you. You can also change the video quality. Right now it's set to medium, as well as the audio quality. And if you have multiple screens, then you'll have that option as well. So I'll click OK. And then we can start the virtual machine up. Now, I don't have audio on this particular computer, but we definitely have video. So even though I've chosen audio, we may not be able to hear anything uh, because I'm remoted into another computer that doesn't have that capability. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit of a recording, see what it looks like. And then you'll have an idea of how you can use recording in VirtualBox. I'm going to go into File Explorer while I'm waiting and go to the folder where it, things are being saved. And then I'll come back to this when done. So I'll go to input, keyboard, and log in. Now, I've gone ahead and changed the resolution a little bit just so you can see this bottom section. But take a look. You can see this little reel that's spinning around, and it shows that it is recording everything that we're doing. So I can choose the recording settings by right clicking. And if I want to, I can disable recording. Or if I just shut the computer down, it'll stop recording as well. If I go back into File Explorer, and after I shut the virtual machine down, we'll be able to see what's been recorded. So it created this .webm file. So if I double click on it, it will automatically open up within my video player. And you can see it's, it's recorded everything from the time that I press the start button until I shut everything down. So there it's going to be recording all the different clicks that I made and everything that happened until I shut it down. So that is how you record audio and video on your VirtualBox session.